Hey, what's up, YouTube? TMZ1313 here, and today I got a DC motor hooked up to another DC motor to make a DC generator. Um, I know this is kind of the stupidest setup ever. It has, serves no purpose whatsoever because I have a battery to power a motor that drives another motor that creates electricity to drive a light. I know I could just hook up the light to the battery. I'm not that dumb. I'm just trying to show you guys on the concept of a DC generator and how you could turn any DC motor into a generator basically just by fa um, spinning it fast enough you're able to create current and a uh, simple way trying to understand uh, how that works is that you gotta know how a motor works, a DC motor. Alright so this little shaft right here kind of hard to see that shaft right there that is called an armature that goes all the way throughout the engine all the way to the back you can see even see it come out the back um, and that is actually has a whole bunch of copper wire strand to it or a uh, copper wire in um in a loop and then there's um, magnets on all the way around the motor so basically how it works here I got a uh, homemade motor DC motor so let me plug it in real quick and I can show you guys how it works sorry it's taking a minute You bastard. Alright. So basically, how this motor is working, it's pretty simple. It's taking the juice from this uh, AA battery that goes up to these posts, which are, um, which are, uh, paper clips. And I have a coil of wire, copper wire, that it has about, uh, I'd say about 25 loops. And basically, this would be your armature of the motor, this little copper coil. It's basically inside this motor with that shaft. And there's a whole bunch of coils, a lot more than what's on this one. And then all around this case right here is little magnets. And when current is passed by a magnet, it actually creates an uh, electromagnet which in turns turns this coil now in order to produce electricity you gotta reverse it so basically you gotta have something spin in this coil and when you're spinning this coil with this magnet underneath it, it actually creates current now you spin it fast enough you get enough current to make a generator and that's basically what I have here uh, very weird concoction I know but it seems to work so that's what we're going with um, so I got my meter hooked up to my motor and then I'm gonna run a 9 volt this 9 volt off this uh, motor which in turn I'm going to turn the shaft and then I got wires coming out to power that light bulb so basically it all should work in theory so we're gonna put this down right here so you can see the light bulb with me doing everything so I'm gonna power this up and get it going there we go alright you see it Now, I'm probably getting uh, in the range of millivolts. Let's see what we're getting here when this motor is getting turned. Um, hang on one second. Sorry about this. I need a camera guy. Yeah. 
power. So we're getting about 1.1 volts. Which is actually a lot more than what I thought it would be. So, um, yeah, that's basically the theory. I mean, if you spin any DC motor fast enough, you get that thing to produce electricity. So that's basically how any generator works, DC generator. Or this would be a motor generator because it's a motor driving a generator. Or so we're saying this is a generator. So I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe. Uh, ask me questions or whatever. And I'll see you guys there. See you.